Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So I went out there and I bought a brand new Note 20 Ultra in white color. Now I have been using a bronze Note 20 Ultra since the launch day, but I do want to switch to white color because I have been dreaming about it for a while. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this real quick and we're going to do a long term review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Like I said, I've been using this phone for a long time and I want to give you guys my overall impression of how it's been so far using this phone as a daily. So let's start with the unboxing real quick. I'm going to lift up the box, okay, real quick. And there's that white phone, absolutely beautiful. Let's get a little focus here, okay. So that's the phone right there. I'm going to take it and put it to the side real quick. Let's see what you get in the box. So I'm going to take this off right here. Okay, we have a charger that's a super fast 25 watt charger. That's what you want with this phone. It's going to give you super fast charging times. And the other thing we get with the Note 20 Ultra when you buy this is a USB type C cable to charge your phone. That's basically everything in the box. So I'm going to put the box aside and we are going to be diverting our attention to the actual phone right here. All right, so here's the phone, and as you can see, this white color is in fact gorgeous. And like I said, it's a shiny finish, as you can see. Okay, now real quick, let me focus on the cameras over here. Now I do want to let you know, here we have a 12 megapixel super wide camera. This one here is 108 megapixel main camera. That's the most powerful camera on the smartphone. And then over here, we have a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. On the top over there, we have the laser autofocus sensor, and that's the LED flash. All right, so at the bottom, we have that tiny microphone. We have the USB Type-C. Uh, we have the speakers, and of course, we have the S Pen. Because you bet by the white phone, you also get the white S Pen. Uh, on this side, there's nothing. On the top of this device, we have the housing for the SIM card. We have another microphone. And then finally, on this side, we have a volume rocker and the side key slash power button slash Bixby button, okay? So that's just a quick tour on the device. Let's dive into the review. All right, so obviously the biggest highlight of this product is its display. It's a gorgeous, large and tall display, and I do want to talk about it. But real quick, let me give you a quick word on the front-facing camera since we're looking at it. It's a 40 megapixel camera and it gets the job done. When I take a selfie, it is nice, crisp, and clear. And if it's nighttime, you can also do a nighttime selfie using the night mode. Now, another great thing is with the front facing camera, when you record a video, you are actually able to, because it is 40 megapixels, you are able to go for 4K at 60 frames per second. So that is an option you have. In fact, you can pick any one of these different resolutions just for the front-facing camera. So even the front-facing camera on this phone is quite extreme, being able to go all the way to 4K at 60 frames per second. Now let's talk about this beautiful display. It's an amazing display to consume media on. And of course, it has some special features. If I go to my settings, if I go to my display, as you know, we have the motion smoothness option. I can pick between 60 hertz refresh rate if, if I want slightly long battery or uh, you can pick the adaptive rate which gives you a maximum display refresh rate of 120 hertz and as such the phone simply feels super smooth as you scroll through the phone. Another thing is the bezels are so tiny it's got a nice and square look and it's got a tiny little hole on the top so like I said watching movies, playing games, Watching YouTube videos on this phone is in fact a pleasure. It looks absolutely stunning. In that category, it's not gonna fail you. Now, the only thing I wish it had was, when I go to my settings over here, if I go to display, now, if I go in to change my screen resolution to the maximum resolution, which is gonna be the uh, WQHD+, Plus, it simply doesn't allow me to pick that, and if I do pick it and apply it, it is going to kill the high refresh rate and it's going to give me the 60 hertz refresh rate. So you cannot have 120 hertz with the highest resolution. You have you are actually uh, stuck at full high definition plus if you want that adaptive 120 hertz 
uh, refresh rate. That will be my only gripe with the options that the display offers. Now, when I'm watching a movie, here's what I do. I go into my advanced features, I go all the way down, and I enable my video enhancer. So video enhancer basically enhances the video quality so it looks more bright and more vivid. And then what I do is I go back over here and I go into my sounds and vibration. I go all the way down and I go into sound quality and effects and I enable Dolby Atmos. Now once I have this enabled and the video enhancer enabled, watching movies like I said, is a joy, especially with those multiple high fidelity stereo speakers. At nighttime in the bed, I can watch a movie on this. It feels like I'm watching a high definition TV. Okay, so display is A+, no question about that. Now, one thing I wanna quickly talk about is the design of these phones. I love the design of these phones. When you are in the market to buy this phone, just make sure if you wanna go with a shiny finish or a matte finish, the bronze color comes in the matte finish, and if you get the white color or the black color, it's gonna be the shiny finish. But with the white color, you don't have to worry about fingerprints as much if you went for the black color. Just be careful, that black color is super shiny fingerprint magnet. This one, because it is matte, it barely picks up any fingerprints. This one is gonna pick up some fingerprints, okay? But it's gonna be very hard to see them because it's white. This would be my favorite new color. And of course, when it comes to the front, the design is excellent. I love the signature boxy design of the Note series, and I love the tiny bezels on all four sides. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about has to do with the battery life. So let me go into my settings over here, go into my device here, and let's go to the battery. So basically, with my usage of the phone, which is medium to heavy use, a combination of watching videos, playing games, what I get is a full day of battery life, and sometimes there's a little bit left over for the next day, but most of the time I just charge the phone overnight. But there's no question that I do get a solid day of battery life with heavy use. When it comes to charging, it supports 25 watts super fast charging, so I can charge the phone from zero to 100 in around one hour, which is, which is fantastic. So even during the day, if the phone's battery goes low, I can just plug it in for 15 to 30 minutes and get at least 40% of battery life in that small amount of time, and I'm good to go. On top of that, it has all the usual stuff. You know, got the wireless charging, wireless power share, charge other products on the back of your phone. It's something I've used a couple times, not too many, but a couple times when I was on the go and my earbuds, their battery just died, so I was able to use this phone to charge my earbuds on the back of the phone, which was convenient feature to have. Not a killer feature, but it's nice to have it anyway. Now this phone runs on One UI 2.5, and of course, it's also gonna be getting the latest update to One UI 3.0. My overall impressions with this phone is the software is super smooth. I have had no lag with this phone at all. Now, obviously, this is a brand new one that I just bought, but I still was using this one right over here, which was simply a different color uh, for ever since it was released. Never did I have any issue with lag. The software is smooth and responsive. And of course, it is a highly customizable software, so I can do amazing things like have these real good looking video wallpapers, as you can see on the lock screen, okay? I'm able to fully customize this phone by going to wallpapers. I can purchase themes or whatever. This is just part of what Samsung offers, a highly customizable experience. If I do go into my settings, it is just loaded with features, loaded with features. Go to advanced features, you got the S Pen. You've got all these little fancy useful features you can activate or deactivate within the software. So it's a smooth, consistent software experience, also with the ability to fully customize, configure, and set up your phone to an incredible degree. Now we all know Samsung is not very good with software updates. They do update their phones, but all over around the world, everybody gets their software updates at a different time. Now if I were to go to this phone here, and if I were to go down over here, and go into my software update, you will see that I have been getting consistent updates. Uh, this video was shot on 28th, and I, I already had an update on 27th. I'm on the latest security patch. So I am always getting my security patch updates every month, no problem. Some of the bigger updates might take some extra time 
with Samsung phones, it's just business as usual. Unfortunately, when it comes to software, it is no way comparable to an iPhone that just gets updates in a uniform fashion, no matter where you are in the world. With Samsung, the software updates are a little bit fragmented, but you do get your software updates. It's just not a uniform experience for everybody. Now, when it comes to performance, the phone is absolutely amazing. It's got one of the fastest processors on the market, 865 plus processor. This one happens to have a Snapdragon version, and I know the Exynos version is not as good as a Snapdragon version. There's a 10 to 15% performance difference between the two, but obviously, if you have a Note 10, it is more desirable if you have an 865 Plus. I can play any game I want with the highest graphical settings and the phone never has any trouble playing these uh, high graphic, high intensity games. And obviously with this software, even with softwares from a, a year or two ago or three years ago, you can basically run any app on the App Store. The newer the processor, the better, because you get to get the maximum performance, but that's just the way technology in the smartphone industry works. But this one, of course, with the latest processor, is, is a beast, it's a performance monster. Now, when it comes to the cameras, let's quickly talk about the cameras. We do have a triple camera system, so you get versatility, you get wide, ultra wide, and of course, you have a telephoto option that can zoom in up to 50 times. When I launch my camera, and if I tap on the top here, you'll notice that we are able to utilize that 108 megapixel camera that's built into this phone, and that option takes super crisp, high resolution photos, as you can see. Just remember, anytime you wanna use the 108 megapixel camera, you do have to come into your camera application, tap this button, and choose 108 MP right here, with a three by four aspect ratio. If you're just over here, it is not doing 108 megapixels. In fact, let me show you, let me take one photo right now. I just took a photo. I'm gonna take one more photo with 108, okay? Tap on this. Now I'm gonna go inside the photo. Let me pull this up to get details. Now this is here, 12,000 by 9,000 resolution. That's, that's the 108 megapixel photo, okay? But if I swipe over to the other photo I took, if I pull that up, you'll see that's 4,000 by 3,000. So make sure you pick the right option from the top over here when you wanna utilize that 108 megapixel camera, which is a very, very crisp. And other than that, like I said, uh, the, the camera is a flagship quality camera. It's a top contender. The photos that it takes are just as good, if not better in some cases, than an iPhone 12 Pro Max. When it comes to video quality, it's got all the crazy options you crave. Here I'm in the video settings. If I go to my uh, rear video size, you can go all the way up to 8K recording. Then you have other resolution options. You can do 4K at 60. And the videos that you take are crystal clear. In daytime, it almost feels like a professional camera. The bottom line, if you buy this phone, uh, the camera is not something that's gonna disappoint in any way. So great camera system, triple cameras, high quality, extreme options and settings you can ask for on a flagship phone. Now, all of you guys are familiar with the S Pen. It's an amazing little tool, obviously. You can navigate the phone, you can write, take notes, and if you have the patience, you can, you can sketch beautiful photos. Now look at that, I can just do anything to this photo that I want. This is just a coloring option, but you can literally sketch this, you can zoom in, go into the fine details and just sketch anything that you please. It's a brilliant little tool and it's more than a tool to sketch. It also gives you all these various options. I have the ability to use a bunch of productivity tools. As you can see right here, uh, Smart Select, I can just select the screen, take, take notes on it, extract the text out of the actual photo. If there was any text, there is right here. So let's see what happens. Extract text, looks. 2D, it just extracted the text it was able to detect, uh, all using machine learning, okay? So things like that are also the quality of the S Pen. And also if I go to the settings, if I go to advanced features, uh, one thing I like is the S Pen can be used as a remote control. So I can actually press this to take photos, press it to take videos, press it to present stuff, go back, go forward, pause and play video, 
all which is going to be customizable right from here under the air actions. So we do have that amazing little S Pen. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. My final thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is it is probably the best phone of 2020, no questions asked. The two big complaints that I have with this phone is the price. It is a little bit too expensive compared to even the iPhones now. And also the fact that if I go into my display, I am unable to pick 120 hertz for the maximum resolution. That is a problem. But beyond that, I really have no problems with this phone. It is full of features. It does everything almost to a perfect pitch. Like I said, beautiful package, beautiful design, gorgeous screen, deep software functionality, and rich software features, powerful S Pen utility, and so much more. So if you have one of these guys, you should be satisfied. If you want to buy them, it is going to be a great purchase, especially if you can get some good deals out of this in the holiday season. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, have a fantastic day.